Throwback Thursday. Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. And if you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Erica Ashley. I try my best to upload three videos every single week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So if you enjoy content, of course you enjoy content. <laughs> So if you enjoy project panning, eyeshadow tutorials, throwback eyeshadow tutorials, hauls, swatches, all the fun stuff in makeup and beauty, then I'd love for you to consider subscribing before you go. Now today is the second episode or video in my new series that I created last week called Throwback Thursday Eyeshadow Palettes, where I pull an older eyeshadow palette that I have in my collection that's at least, I want to do like at least two year, one to two years or older. Not, not like the end of 2021 or anything like that. Like years older. I want, that's my plan. And today I'll be doing, today I'll be doing a tutorial on the, the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. Is there an original chocolate bar? Or is this the first one? I don't know. I didn't get these when they originally launched. I found them maybe two years ago at, um... TJ Maxx or Marshall, so that's when I picked these up. So mine aren't super, super old when they first released, but they are over about two years old. But they're powders, they don't go wrong. And also, if you want to participate in this Throwback Thursday eyeshadow series, I have a link down below and it's open. All you have to do is just add your video to it. And I'd love for y'all guys to, you know, join in, add your videos. I'd love for you to see those videos, tag me in them, all that fun stuff. So that is exciting. I had two people who say they were interested who do film videos. So it was Makeup Mamas and dear friend Erica here on YouTube who enjoy this video. So if y'all two ladies and any other ladies and gentlemen who want to join in, just go ahead and add your video to the playlist. So enough rambling, let's go ahead and do an eyeshadow tutorial with a semi-sweet chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. Alrighty my friends, we are going to do a throwback Thursday eyeshadow tutorial using the Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. Here is what the inside looks like. Mine isn't too bad because like I said I didn't get it when it initially launched. But I do have a pink lip on and just a gray shirt. It's hot. <laughs> so I, it's mostly neutral with a pop of pink and then a pop of blue. So, um, we're going to see what we can create with this guy. Here's a look at the palette. And mine still smells sweet like chocolate. So, mine is still good. <laughs> I did wash my brushes, so let's go ahead and grab uh, my Morphe R39 brush, one of my favorites. I believe I only have one, maybe two of these. I need to grab some more brushes. But let's go ahead and use Mousse right here in the crease. I'm, like, I'm just going to create a, nar a natural. <laughs> natural look maybe a dark outside outer corner something like that i do have two other videos that i would love to get filmed today so my deck of panning it is the 21st that i am filming this so my deck of panning needs to be filmed and uploaded those go out on the 20th and i'm super excited to see everyone's um updates and I'm super excited to share mine with you as well and if you don't know what the deck of panning is it is a series created by Emily Mack. She got the idea from a book YouTuber or a book Instagrammer and she asked if she could create it. Um, a makeup one and it is so much fun. So if you haven't participated in that or seen any videos, I will link mine down below or look up Deck of Panning and it's just really fun to create um, content for that. I really had a lot of fun. I didn't know what it was. This was my first update that I am filming today but I, I had a lot of fun with it and I plan to continue to do it on my on my channel. Alrighty, and excuse my breakout. I have one in my brow and that one kind of hurts, but it's that time of the month, so I have some breakouts. Next, we are gonna go, let's go with pudding. My husband wanted pudding yesterday. Um, I don't like, care for pudding, so I <laughs> need to make it or just buy him already made pudding. But we're gonna go in with pudding and just deepen the outer corners. 
and I have been dragging it out more a little further and I've been loving it. I've always wanted to wear it and I have, um, my legs are stuck into my chair, sorry. I do have large eyes, so it looks really nice. See the difference in those? I just love that darker blown out look. And I am using the same brush. I normally use the same brushes through the whole eye tutorial just because the, the colors just blend better together. Alrighty, I am gonna take, I believe, hot fudge. I haven't I haven't dipped into hot fudge, but I did jab a nail in there. Not today, not today, but before. So I haven't used that color. So I'm gonna take it kind of in the outer parts, and I think I'm gonna use cocoa chill, cocoa chili in all over the lid. So let's go ahead and see that. Just deepen it up just a smidge. You can kind of just tap, tap and then blend in the outer V. So it's a little bit darker. Love it. It is a little, it does have a little more fallout. Mine does. You can, can you see? Yeah, you can see right there. The rest don't. And since it has a little more fallout, I just tap it in there and then you can go ahead and just circle and blend. Swirl and blend. See, I just love a deeper outer crease. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. All right, I seem to have gone a little bit too low, but all you do is just take a clean brush and brush that away. I'm gonna take a little smudger shader brush. This is just a dollar at your store. It's um, an e.l.f. smudge brush. And let's see, I think I'm gonna take truffles since I haven't used that one on film today. I'm gonna take truffles and just dab that in the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take, I'll take frosting, which is a shimmer shade and smudge that out. Now we can use, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mid-tone brown. Now we can use as many shades as we can. And then frosting. It is a shimmer shade, but you can put, you can put any shadow wherever you want. And it just helps blend the two. I don't, I've been doing this recently. I'm not too sure why, but I've been doing the lower lash line before I put the shimmer on. So I'm going to do the other eye and then put a little brown liner in the water line and then we'll come back and do the shimmer. That probably was creepy, but we'll come back and do the shimmer. <laughs> All righty. So I want to either take Bon Bon or Coco Chillin. I don't know. I like darker. We're going to go darker. We can put Bon Bon in the inner corner. That's what we'll do. Since it is a shimmer, so beautiful. I, sorry for getting this finger. It's not my intent. Let's go ahead and use my ring one. It's like a matte, but with the shimmer. Can y'all see that? So we can, we can do Bon Bon over it. But I love, I love dark, dark makeup. So pretty. It almost looks monochromatic, right? Mm -hmm. I love it. And then we will take butter pecan this more shimmery right here on the inner inter quanter let's see oh yeah so pretty chocolate eye in the middle of the day ain't nothing wrong with that i just just take this brush that i had with no extra color and 
no extra product and I just kind of blend it. The shimmer did go away. So you can put, you know, pink sugar, which is just a shimmery. Well, it has, it has pigment on it over it, but I love a chocolate smoky eye and I'm going to keep it like this. It goes with the pink, goes with the red, goes with the nude, any color, you know. Let's go ahead and put some Bon Bon to make it a little bit lighter. Let's just go ahead and see. Just pat that on top. A little bit lighter. Not too much. It's like a satin. So that's what it is. A little bit lighter. And I do like it, but I love, love, love the original one. But it's okay. They both are beautiful to me. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, and I'll be right back. Oh, add some mascara too, and we'll be right back on my final thoughts. Alrighty, we are back. Mascara is done, and I really, really, really enjoy it. These formulas are still so blendable, so buttery. This palette is, you know, it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I do love it. It's beautiful as at one pop, you can use it in your inner corner, your lower lash line, all over your lid. This is a great traveling palette. Mine still works perfectly. Like I said, I didn't get it initially. When it launched, I got it a few what, year, maybe two years ago, I believe, when it did launch at, or not launch, when it was available at Sephora, not Sephora, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I can't remember which one, but it is still in great condition, and I still have yet to play with that licorice shade. And I think that's, oh, this rum raisin, look how beautiful. That is my tone right there. That is my tone. So I will be definitely playing with this. I have played with it before. It is in my Shop My Stash uh, drawer, and I will leave that link down below as well. But I do love it. Like, it is just so blendable. It's effortless. It, for In my opinion, this is really effortless. This is an effortless palette, and the packaging is just so adorable, and mine's still my soul smells like chocolate. So this is still a beautiful, beautiful, blendable, effortless palette. Easy on the go. Easy for everyday one and done looks. Um, you know, you could get beautiful go out looks. But this is perfect. I believe this is perfect for a gal on the go or on vacation. You know, you have to do your makeup real quick for work. You don't know what you want to do, but you don't want to do a too intricate look. Like, I, what did I use? Four shades, three shades on my lid, and then five, five together underneath, but that was just because I was being extra. You could do one, two, three shadows and be done, and you'll have a beautiful, beautiful look. And then you could take this with you, deepen it up with one of the darker tones, and have a perfect date night look, or a go-out look, an evening glam, something like that. So I still really enjoyed this palette very much, and... I'm glad I'm doing this series because it makes me fall in love with this palette. I don't think I ever fell in love with this particular palette only because it is, you know, your your regular, you know, not boring, but just your regular browns, nudes, but everybody needs these. This is a staple, staple palette, and I'm pretty sure people still love and enjoy this one and have that in have this in their collection for that reason. I put my flowers right here for my part of my background. My husband got these for me for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day was a week ago today. <laughs> so they are probably need to be thrown out. But I wanted to have them in there. Um, but like it's still beautiful. I love because it goes. It does have your dark browns. And it does have your light browns. And for me I need dark browns. I need that depth. I do want that darkness. I do want that dimension. And I could have gone a lot darker. But I'm not really going anywhere. <laughs> and I do have to film some videos. And I'm doing a swatch video a lipstick swatch video that I got from Sephora. I have a little bag right here. I'm gonna do a lipstick swatch video next or after I film my deck of panning videos. So I still love, I still love this palette and I don't know if I fell in love with it before, but I knew I really, really enjoyed, with, enjoyed it just because, like I said, this is perfect on the go, like for work or if I, I need to get dressed in a hurry, you know, me and my husband are going out to lunch or to dinner or at somebody's birthday, you know, and I'm running late. I can grab this, do a beautiful, beautiful, effortless, seamless, beautiful look, grab this, pop on a, you know, a dark lipstick or a nude or a fun color, a red, and it goes with any, any, any lipstick color that you want. And I, I mean, I don't know if these are still available, 
But if you do, um, tag me on Instagram down, or, you know, tag me on YouTube, Instagram, anywhere, and show me your looks that you create with this. If you still have this, if you still love it, let me know down below. What are your thoughts? If you're like, oh, I decolored it, I was over the chocolate series. Like I said, I didn't buy them when they launched, so these are still in great condition for me. And I wonder if Too Faced will be doing something like this, um, or like, kind of like relaunching them, revamping them in some kind of way. A lot of people don't like this packaging. You know, I, I don't mind it. Um, it is it is cute. It still has a cute little mirror. So I I still I still really enjoyed it, and I'm re I'm loving it more and more now that it, it is in my everyday makeup drawer, which is the point of my everyday makeup drawer. And perfect. I love it. Mine's so great. I have nothing but good things to say. Maybe if you are a color gal, you won't like this, but if you're a neutral natural gal like me, then you'll really love it. And uh, I want to see all y'all spun looks that y'all created with this. And like I said earlier, if you want to add your videos to the playlist, it is open down below and it's available for anyone to add their videos onto. I'm not too sure if other creators have done this. I personally haven't seen it being done and it is open to add your videos to. So I really hope that you do. And a little fun way for all of us to connect that we can see other videos and maybe, you know, hopefully it'll grow into something really, really awesome. And it, it helps me, it helps everyone not want to purchase all the new stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love to purchase all the new makeup, I do. But not everyone can afford it. And it also helps you remember what is in your collection if you are a collector and have a huge um, collection just like myself. And I'm sure there's many other people out there. But thank you for clicking on this video today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe before you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you all so, so, so much. Bye, guys. Bye.